So many Valley students are missing out on a huge rite of passage because of the coronavirus pandemic. Like graduation, it's not supposed to be a stressful event, but to help manage the stress of starting a brand new part of your life, school districts have been finding creative ways to celebrate their grads. The Rebound Arizona reporter Sonu Wasu takes us to one unique graduation ceremony. Welcome and congratulations. It's not a typical graduation ceremony here at the Accelerated Learning Center, an alternative high school in Phoenix. <laughs> Today they're celebrating 17-year-old Zoe Kokalis, a young woman who never thought she would graduate. I went from thinking, oh, I'm never going to graduate, to graduating early. Zoe lost her father when she was just a freshman. After that, stuck in a phase where she did not care about life, let alone her future. A lot of it was I just didn't want to go to school. I wanted to sleep all day, be lazy, not get up, just sit there, be at school. And honestly, it felt like no one really cared whether I went to school or not. That's when a guidance counselor pushed her to go to the Accelerated Learning Center, a school for at-risk children. Even though what she said, did hurt my feelings. I am very grateful for her because she, without her, I would have never gone to this school. Now, after four years of hard work, Zoe is excited to flip her tassel to the other side. Her ceremony, not what she expected. Because of the pandemic, this graduation is very personal. It is by appointment, a walk-in graduation. They come in, they pick up their cap and gown, and then they come in for graduation. Just a few school administrators and her family there for the big moment. Thank you for coming to celebrate with us. But as you can see, the school is laying out the red carpet for their grads. How many graduates do you guys have? 58. We have 58 students graduating this year. 58 students like Zoe, who struggled at one point, now achieving this big milestone. What were your emotions as you were walking down that red carpet to get your degree today? Oh my gosh, so many things. I'm sad. I'm happy. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my gosh, I'm actually here. <laughs> Zoe hopes to go on to become a pediatrician. For those who want to celebrate the traditional way, like these graduates from 2019, the school will allow them to walk across the stage next year. Sonu Wasu, ABC 15, Arizona.